So it's almost Thanksgiving, and I realized that I have an old animation of a turkey jumping that I made into a class on Skillshare a couple of years ago. So I thought I'd want to take a look at that and kind of explain how I created that animation. And if you want to try and do it yourself, then you can go check out my Skillshare class at the end of this video. You know, originally I had made this animation as a Thanksgiving animated card, like a GIF for my mom, and I decided to turn it into a class. So now I figure I show my uh, YouTube audience. So if anybody out there wants to do the same, then you can watch this video and get an idea of how to make your own. They actually don't take that much time and it'd be a nice card to give to someone for this Thanksgiving. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's episode of the Expat Animator. So here's the actual finished card that I created for Thanksgiving and that I sent to my mom. And as you'll see, the turkey is jumping back and forth in a cycle. And I actually created this animation in only six drawings. So if you think that animation is, a, is too hard for something like this, uh, I'm going to show you how you can actually do this without needing to do a ton of work. So let's take a look at my original rough animator project. And what you'll see here is you'll see I've got about seven layers here, including the background. And I'm just going to start and show you where I started with. So let's open up this opacity on circles here. And I'm going to zoom in on my timeline. And you can see here there's actually only six drawings. And what I want to show you is the way I do my animations is I try and start them out very simply with either just some line work or some shapes and in this case I use shapes to show uh, the main points of action for this character which are going to be the feet, the body, and the head and those are all represented here with some shapes. So you can see from the starting position here then we go into an anticipation drawing where he's kind of going in the opposite direction of where he's, the action is going to go. And then we get that spring action where his neck is extending and his body's starting to stretch in that direction of where he's jumping. Again, same thing here. The, the foot here is still actually pushing off of the ground, but his body's starting to move away from where he was. And now he's airborne. And in that final drawing here, he's at the peak of weightlessness in this jump. And from here, he's going to start going back down to the ground. Now I sometimes would just animate or draw the other drawings where he's going back down to the ground. But in this case, trying to keep this to as little drawings as possible, I basically am just going to reuse these drawings and flip them uh, so that he lands on the opposite side of where he started. And then he can loop back and forth. So the next step I wanted to do is I'm going to take my circles and I'm going to do some rough drawings uh, using my circles as a base. So I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call this roughs. And you can see here I've got a rough drawing of the turkey. And I'll just show you here real quick here these drawings. And as we go through now the turkey is jumping and this is getting me closer to where we need to be. So the next stage I did is cleanups. So let's pull these back and pull cleanups up here. And now you can see here, this is basically the final drawing. And what I want to do in this stage is make it look like the final character. And I also want to check all of my line work for breaks. So if there's any breaks in the line work, um, then when we go to color this in using the paint bucket tool, the paint will spill out into areas that we don't want it to. So this is a stage where I make sure I go in and clean up all of these lines to make sure everything's connecting that needs to be connected. And from cleanups, now we go into colors. So I'm just gonna go up here to this layer here. And if we look at our colors layer, I basically have duplicated the cleanups drawings by, um, duplicating the layer, right? And then I just need to take my paint bucket tool and fill in the colors throughout those six drawings. And here's those six drawings. And then what I would do is I would duplicate each drawing and flip them 
So you can see how this is the same drawing just flipped. And you know, one by one, I would duplicate the drawing, move it into place, and you can do that using these buttons here. And gets us back to the original starting point of this drawing. So now we have 12 drawings, but they're the same drawings. And again, I didn't do this until the color stage because I didn't want to have to color 12 drawings, I just wanted to color six. So now that I've got my 12 drawings, you, we can just, we can easily use the make a cycle button and have him loop back and forth. And I go into all this in more detail in the class that's on Skillshare and I'll put that link in the description. But basically, uh, once you've got your jumping turkey, then you can just add a background in and you can even animate some hand drawn text using the same make cycle techniques. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at our fi finished piece here. And there he goes. So that's a pretty quick overview of how to make your own Thanksgiving card. And again, I go over this in depth of how to do every step of this in my Skillshare class. So go take a look at that if you want to make your own. And hopefully everybody out there has a happy Thanksgiving. My name is Patrick Davidson. This has been another episode of the Expat Animator. Thanks for joining me today. And I hope to see you next time. If you found today's video helpful, you might like some of my animation classes over at Skillshare.com. I'll put the link in the description below.